Twitter ban lifted. Should we really be grateful? If I sit back to think about it, the events that led to the ban of Twitter, it leaves me wondering who lied to us about being in democracy? Where is the freedom of speech that was promised us? This reminds me of the film Legend of the Seeker, where one man called Darkin Rao controlled everyone within his jurisdiction. Can our leaders be humble enough to admit their unguardedness and misguided actions? Can our leaders be humble enough to accept that the highest office in the nation is the office of the citizens? Several businesses had already been hit by the COVID. The Twitter ban came as a corresponding blow. They ask that we contribute to the socio-economic development, yet they shut us out from one tool of effectiveness that facilitated this development. The Twitter ban has been lifted after 223 days or even more. Oh yeah, we should be jumping in jubilation because our fundamental right to speech has now been restored. Who knows for how long though? This leaves me asking two critical questions. One, what was the essence of the ban? Two, why was the ban lifted even at this awkward time? Elections are close by. Are you seriously thinking what I could already be thinking about? Victor, did you have to say it out loud? What we're all thinking? Of but of course, I mean, like, of really. Of course, that's exactly, that's that's exactly, exactly what it is. In the end, but the to answer your first question, do you know there's something about the laws of power? When you have the power to do something, to punish some people, to just show that I can do what I'm going to do. Hmm. You know how they just say, so I feel, I mean, to answer that, but the second one, obviously, Twitter is such a powerful tool. And Twitter advocates like all of you sitting here, minus me, uh, are ready to jump yourself. on. <laughs> and people like, so there are really a lot of PR campaigns, social media campaigns, everything, and they already know yeah. what else are you going to use? How mm. do you want to get it done? And then how do you buy goodwill? So now they are going to give you, you are not getting back of rights, you don't need it. You don't need Gary Abi. You need So Twitter is your own, take it and be happy. Mm. Mm. But for, uh, you see, the Twitter thing for me, I look at it from different angles. Let me take it from the most, uh, should I say positive one or negative one so that I can have all your buying? <laughs> Before I come to what I Is that another part goal? of it. <laughs> now, Twitter ban. The way I feel. Okay, let me let me just get in. How I feel now. I feel that Twitter itself or social media itself needs to be regulated. Personally, I feel Twitter needs to be cautioned because the kind of care and caution they bring to bear in other countries, they leave it out when it comes to a lot of African countries. In terms of plan, I mean, you know, uh, muting this and you know what they flag and all that stuff. Facebook does it better for Africa than they do. So I feel that yes, they need it. But do we need seven months to prove this? No. Do we even need to ban for a week? No. There are other things we could have done to call their attention, and definitely not be, not immediately after the the president's speech was pulled down. That one is a no no. However, what pisses me off in all this is that. And it dovetails into what we're talking about, having the strength, the resilience, mm. being open-minded. Listen, I can bet almost everything I have on it that in a country like China, India, even America, if uh, a platform as big as Twitter were to be banned, by now, you would have had alternative platform created by the indigents of those countries. Wasn't to Kari prove created? two things. To what? Wasn't Kari created? Yeah, Kari. No, but no. That. <laughs> to prove that, listen, one, you cannot stifle us. We have the power. We are the Gen Z, like we say. Mm. We, we've done NSAs like nobody has ever done in the history of Nigeria. We are supposed to prove it with that. Number two, it's supposed to be an, an opportunity for people to now rake in funds. That, ah, this space, let me buy it, quickly lash into it. If you say Kauri or whatever was created, mm -hmm. how much impact has it made? How many people even know of it? Pulled it down by ourselves now. People pulled it down by themselves. Exactly. But I think that, 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 that one has a different... That one has a different... That was maybe sarcastic. That was a different... Please do not imagine that Kauri was an alternative. It was a sarcastic comment. So, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is that, yes, government has done the undoable what should not have been done mm. but as a people and that's what part of things that is still affect, affecting us in politics mm. sorry i'm bringing it back to politics because people. this is how we sit down mm -hmm. even where we have power 
and watch things. Imagine the, the youth or some group of guys just came out and said uh, they want to come up with something, chat, Sorosuke, and a new uh, social media platform is born with the same kind of ideology as Twitter filling up that space. Do you think government will be able to ban it? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. 100%. Yes. 100%. No. In fact, yes. they will ban it more. No. They, they, no. Ban no. It. They, they will ban it. They will ban it. They will remove it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they the text 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 even if they ban it, you see, they but even if they ban it, the truth is that change and revolutions don't come with the first attempt. Of course. What I really feel is that, like, we really, really, at the end of the everything we have discussed, we have the same thread. We are just not ready and we're not strategic and we're not just thinking. You know how that immediate comfort, mass post hierarchy of needs I mentioned? That Those that are thinking and are smart have taken that 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 hierarchy of needs and they have used it as a tool against us and we are there exactly. we are sitting we are, we there we are not making it I, 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 com I completely <laughs> agree like this with what you <laughs> said about that <laughs> <Because I'm laughs> <just bad. laughs> he has one arrow for me <laughs> I, I, I completely agree with what you said I don't know why I'm not sitting close to you <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the fact that you mentioned that change and revolution does not come with first attempts mm. completely true but would a, an alternative platform created by the Nigerian that serves well, the story, so, so mm -hmm. purpose mm -hmm. be banned as at as at way the politics oh, yes, right would now. Have been banned. Yes. No, what, but no, it's not been banned. It's not been banned. It's not been No, what it's was been was, was Facebook banned? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Chill. It's been banned, mm -hmm. and the people would have been arrested. But is that is now is now where the resilience comes in? Yeah. Other people come up. So the question now is how would how, how ready how ready are we? To, to even keep challenge on pushing the system, exactly. the system no, I mean, I guess, until no, the system exactly. gets tired of us. Yeah. When effecting change, there's a, there's a concept called power dynamics. Mm. And if you can't win on that, for, I mean, if I'm hitting this wall, Very the true. wall is the there's nothing you can do about it. That's so true. I think there's no need to keep doing the same thing, the same str Let me keep pushing. You know, mm. someone says something, one day I will make it. You might never make it. <laughs> Very true. Very true. You might never make it. Very true. Very true. You might yes. never make Very it. Very true. So I don't believe in one day I will just make it. You will never make it if you don't believe in the rest of your life. I know that 2022 you know, will be exactly the same as 2021 if you do not get out of your comfort zone yeah, so or change things. Well, so, so. you know, for me, on this Twitter ban, I guess the same conversation is um, why now? Obviously, it's obvious. Yeah, I mean, why it's now? It's obvious. Why right? Now? <laughs> but would businesses that have suffered the effect of Twitter recover? Is this an opportunity for them to recover? Or do we need to do something better? I think we need to do something better. To become a better business, now I'm yeah. thinking as a business person mm -hmm. right as now because mm -hmm. yes, it it just it's the, it transcends politi politics. It yeah. it has to involve with other things, even social issues mm. as well. So, <sighs> <laughs> well, I guess maybe the, the the whole Twitter conversation, especially linked to business, has just shown us one of the rules of life that mm. you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You know when we did that, we were such a simple comment in primary school, but the reality is that. And as businesses, we need to also go beyond being pedestrian in how we execute anything. Mm, because true. if your business, yes, sad, it got afflicted by a Twitter ban. But is that all? Isn't there more? I couldn't you have, can't you? If you have to learn to diversify. evolve and be di diversify and be dynamic. Mm. There's a lot to it. Honestly, Nigerian people, let's not talk about this Twitter ban. You may have getting angry now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's one thing that we have generated from these conversations is that we need to start re-engineering our thought process. Don't just sit down there. You need to get up and do something no matter how little. We've come to the end of this week's episode of The Advocate. American politician Patrick Murphy said the political process does not end on election day. Young people need to stay involved in the process by continuing to pay attention to the conversation and holding their leaders accountable for the decisions they make. The advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate NG. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station, let us keep advocating for a better society.